Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So Brian Winhurst of ESPN, he is reporting now that the Cleveland Cavaliers and the San Antonio Spurs are in trade talks in the trade revolving around Danny Green going from the Spurs to the Cleveland Cavaliers possibly. However, he is saying that the asking price currently from the Spurs of Danny Green is pretty high. He didn't say exactly what they're asking for, but he did say that the asking price is pretty high. So if Danny Green went to the Cleveland Cavaliers, is that really going to improve Cleveland? In my opinion, it's really not. I don't see the big need of Cleveland having a player like Danny Green. Yes, he can shoot. Yes, he's decent on the defensive side of the end. But I don't see no huge improvement in bringing in Danny Green. Now, it really depends on what Cleveland is trying to give up. I don't know if they're trying to do a salary dump or if they're just legitimately trying to get Danny Green thinking that he's going to improve the team that they currently have. But the Cavs don't really have nobody they can trade. Like I said, Tristan Thompson, nobody is going to take that salary, especially the Spurs. They're trying to get rid of salary so they can be aggressive in free agency. So you know Tristan Thompson is off the board. And then you have Kevin Love, and I don't see Kevin Love being traded for a player like Danny Green right now. So the only two guys really available to move is Iman Shumpert and J.R. Smith. I'm not sure if that's giving you Danny Green. I'm not sure what the asking price is exactly, but I'm really going off of this saying that the asking price is pretty high. So not quite sure what happened if the trade does go through. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't think Danny Green improves the Cavs that much. I don't think he puts them over the hump, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Do you guys like the possibility of Danny Green playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, or do you think they should just go ahead and stick to what they have? Let me know in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.